Most people in life are familiar with the people who are famous, who are world-renowned authors, who are international bestsellers, and most people in business know a handful of names that are pretty commonplace today. They're almost homegrown specials. When we talk about that, we have to wonder what that means. A homegrown special is something that people like to play in their minds about what they can say about their relatives or about what they want to say in their hearts, minds, and soul to someone that they really have lost relationships with. A homegrown special can also be a person who loves animals, I suppose, but what that means is that you're home growing some animals over growing, well, people like me. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about who we are, and yet if we're not regarded at all or by far by other people in our life to the point that they're so fucking lazy about the relationship that they will run to other people in gossip instead of saying to someone that they've had a discord with, gosh, I'm sorry for my part, you have to really wonder about who they are. You see, in life, people don't know what to say because they never stop to listen to God that day. And when they don't listen to God, they make mistakes, but those mistakes can be tracked and impeded by other people who are watching that you didn't know were watching you. When people are watching you, you have to wonder why they're watching you. In playing private eyes in terms of your attitude that you have the right to put some old person in a game that's so funny to you but so lame to him because his intelligence are off, is off the charts, I have to wonder about you. Your belief is that I'm going to force this man to like me, I'm going to prove myself in my discourse with him, but all you've proven yourself to be is a bitch. When a man says no to anyone, man, woman, or child, he means no. And when I say no to siblings who've been trying to abuse me with their litigation shit, I mean no. When I say no to people who've taken my property and stolen it, I mean no. And when I say to you, Mr. Do not put your fucking hands on my face again, you sexual abuser, I mean no.